Hello and welcome to the section of the Circuit Analysis Tutor. Here we're going to continue working with series and parallel resistor combinations, mostly giving you some more problems to give you some extra practice with it because it's not hard but it is central because you'll get a lot of complicated circuits if you just do a little bit of reduction early on then it'll make your life easier in solving the circuit. So this is very common stuff here. So what we're going to do is just sort of work through a few of these things that you might typically be asked to do. So here uh, terminal A, let's call it. Let's say we have a 10 ohm resistor and that's connected to a 5 ohm resistor and that's connected in parallel with a 20 ohm resistor. And let's say we have another resistor on the way out to terminal B. We're just labeling these terminals. This is 6 ohms. So the question is, what is the resistance, the equivalent resistance looking in uh, from, you know, between terminals A and B? So you're kind of you're looking this way, what's the equivalent resistance? So we've done some of this in the last section, uh, and this is mostly just for practice. But you can see right away, you can't add these. Sometimes students will try to add 10 and 5 because they think they're in series. They are not in series because there's branching going on here. The only time you can have things in series is if it's the only thing between these items. It have to be just end to end, nothing else going on. This is clearly not end to end because there's a branch here. So what we can do, though, is we see these are in parallel. So we'll just kind of circle this, and we'll say, all right, these are in parallel. So how do we do that? Now, it's, it's two guys, and we have the shortcut that we're going to be using frequently. So the equivalent resistance is product over sum, R1, R2, over R1 plus R2. And we talked about that. So here we have the product, 5 times 20, and the sum is 5 plus 20. So on the top, you're going to have 100, and on the bottom, you're going to have 25. So 100 divided by 25 is going to be 4 ohms. That's the equivalent resistance. Okay, so it's better for you to go ahead and just redraw the guy. So you have now 10 ohms, and now it's connected to the equivalent resistance. We just found 4 ohms, and then on the way out, it's connected to 6 ohms. Now this is easy because we have three guys um, in series. So let me draw a little circle. You don't have to do this, but this is sort of my way to annotate what you're doing. So the equivalent resistance is 10 plus the 4 plus the 6. All right, so this is 10, this is 10, this is 20, so you have 20 ohms. So what you have here, if you want to circle an answer, you'd say R between A and B is 20 ohms. All right, so again, you could build this on the bench, and then you could build a single resistor with 20 ohms, and looking from terminals A and B, right, which might be the source or some other part of the circuit, you're only going to see 20 ohms there. So that's just the way the equivalent uh, guy works. Let's do one that's a little more complicated. So let's say, again, we have terminal A. Okay, we're going to have a 30 ohm resistor coming down here to terminal B. All right, and then we're going to have another leg here. That's going to be 60 ohms. And then we're going to have another leg up here, 20 ohms. And we have another leg here. Let's pop up to 200 ohms. And then we'll have 50 ohms. Question is, what's the resistance looking in from A to B? So again, yeah, these are in parallel. And, and you could start here and combine these guys and get an equivalent resistance. That's cool. But it doesn't really serve any great purpose. You might as well start at the end of the circuit and work your way methodically backwards. So we'll, we'll see that these guys are in parallel. And again, it's only two resistors. So the equivalent resistance is product over sum. 200 plus 